new project. Since you have Xcode installed on your computer, therefore now it's time to launch it and create a new project by choosing the first option on the welcome screen as I show you. By doing that, Xcode will start the project setup process, which requires some additional information about the app we want to create. First, we will create a new iPhone app using the app template under the iOS category in the new window. Setup. After that, click on the next button to proceed to the next section. Next. Set the name of this new project to Hello World. You may know that the Hello World is a popular program for each first-time developer to create. It's a very simple application that outputs the Hello World text on the iPhone's screen. While your second SwiftUI app will be more complicated than that, let's follow the programming tradition and name the project Hello World. Just a side note. Generally, in computer science, we avoid using the space character in a file or project name because it could sometimes cause unexpected errors. Therefore, please follow this old best practice. Next. As for the theme section, we can leave the default none option or choose our personal or business theme if we have one. The organization identifier is a unique identifier of your app. Here I use academy.credo, but you should set it to your own value. If you have a website, set it to your domain name in reverse domain name notation. Otherwise, you may use any domain name with your own name. For instance, my name is Robert Petras. So I can fill in the organization identifier as com.robertpetras. Since the default user interface that Xcode supports is SwiftUI, therefore we should leave this set as it is now. The default language is Swift, which is a very modern and powerful programming language for app development. For both core data and include test options, we can leave them unchecked as we don't need them for this project. After all these settings, please click on the next button to continue. Xcode then asks you where to save the Hello World project. You can choose the desktop on your Mac as you wish. You may notice there is an option for source control. Just Deselect it. We don't need to use this option. Then click Create to continue. After you confirm, Xcode automatically creates the Hello World project with all its visible and hidden file structure. Xcode Basics Before we start to build and run the Hello World app using the available iPhone simulator, let's take a few minutes to have a quick look at the Xcode workspace environment. You know, there is the so-called navigator pane on the left side of Xcode's window. For beginner developers, the most important section here is the project navigator pane. We can find all project files and folder structures in this area. The center part of the workspace is the editor area. In this area, we usually do all the programming and other editing jobs here, such like modifying the project settings, source code files, and the user interface. Depending on the type of the actual file, Xcode shows you different interfaces in the editor area. For example, if we select the Content View Swift file, then Xcode automatically resizes the code editor and displays an extra pane right next to it. This extra pane is the preview pane for the Content View file. If you can't see the design canvas, you can go up to the Xcodes menu and choose Editor, then Canvas to enable it. 
Alternatively, you can use the Adjust Editor option menu in the toolbar and activate the canvas or press the Option plus Command plus Return keystroke combination. The design canvas shows you the preview of your Swift UI code. To get more space for writing code, we can hide both the Project Navigator and the Inspector pane. Also, if we want to resize the preview and work in a focus mode, then we can use the magnifying icons at the bottom right corner. Run the app for the first time. Until now, we haven't written a single line of code. You know, the existing code in the content view file is generated by the Xcode. Before we write our own code, let's try to run the app using the building simulator. This will give you an idea of how to build and test any applications using the Xcode IDE. In the topmost toolbar, you should see a play icon. This is actually the RAM button. The RAM button in Xcode is used to build and run an app in the pre-selected simulator. In this example, the simulator is set to iPhone 14 Pro. Now, if you click the iPhone 14 Pro destination name, you will see a list of the available simulators such as iPhone SE, iPhone 14 Plus, iPad, and so on. Let's select the largest and the greatest iPhone on the market. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max as the destination device and give it a try. Once it is selected, we can click the RAM button to load this app in the simulator. Usually, it takes some moments when the simulator begins operating for the first time. The reason behind it is that the computer must boot the whole iOS operating system at the initial launch, just like on a real device, we can notice. And here it goes. We have just built and run the Hello World app for the first time in the simulator. But we won't stop here since there are plenty of things that we can do using the built-in tools. For example, we can drag and move the simulator to the right side of the screen and resize the Xcode's window so we can monitor both programs simultaneously. After finishing with the manual test, if we want to terminate the running app in the simulator, then we simply need to hit the stop button in the toolbar. Now let's try select another simulator, for example iPhone SE, and run the app yet again. You will see another simulator showing up on the screen. This feature tells us that Xcode allows developers to run multiple simulators simultaneously. Even more, we can force the simulator to stay on the top by activating this feature under the window menu as I show you. It's also worth to mention it that Xcode's simulators work pretty much like a real iPhone or iPad devices. We can click the Home button or press Shift plus Command plus H to bring up the home screen. Each device simulator comes with some built-in apps as well. I'm encouraging you to play around with it and get familiar with Xcode and the simulator environment. Summary Congratulations! You have built and run Xcode's Hello World template application in the simulator. It's a really simple app, but I believe you already have a better understanding of how to create an iOS project than how to run and test it using the simulator. It's easier than you thought. Am I right? In my opinion, it couldn't be easier to start developing applications in Xcode. Since you got all the necessary basic information in this video on how to create a new project, then without further ado, let's jump to the next section and deep dive into app development. See you in the next video.